So cheese. People talk a lot about how hard it is to give up cheese. And I want to show exactly what cheese is and why we like it so much. This is butter, just plain, simple butter. And in here I just have salt, just regular table salt. And this is actually a recipe um, that you won't find online anywhere. I never share this recipe, so it's just in this video. And just take, it's about two tablespoons of salt. And you want to really cover all sides of the butter. And then just pour the rest on. Okay. That's it. Anybody want some? Okay, now that looks disgusting, but this is cheese. When we eat pepperoni pizza or a grilled cheese sandwich, we are eating tons of fat and salt like this. And it's in a different form, so it looks more appealing than this, but it's why our taste buds start to crave intense amounts of fat and salt, because it's in there. So I'm not, I don't show this to, uh, to gross you out, but actually it's the opposite. I show this so that you can have a little compassion for yourself and your taste buds. There is, it is hard to give up things like cheese. We're asking ourselves, to stop eating this with all this fat and salt that our taste buds have become accustomed to and all of a sudden overnight we start eating brown rice and broccoli with no salt on it. So yeah, it's disappointing. And a lot of people try that and they end up not sticking with healthy eating because they have such a bad experience. And so this is why I highly recommend that you start off using recipes and ingredients that are comfortable and filling and familiar and that have some fat and salt tomato sauces on spaghetti, um, bean and cheese burritos with guacamole is a great product like that. And just have some compassion for yourself and your clients that, yeah, we're asking for a big change here. And we'll slowly ease into um, first eating the foods that we love, but without the animal products in it. And then over time, we may start eating um, the brown rice and the broccoli.